we're going on a treasure hunting adventure in Italy. We're up super early this morning because we've got to get there before the crowds get there. It gets super packed. So let's do this. Yeah. We're in Italy on the search for treasure. We'll be traveling the whole country in our camper van to see how much treasure we can find. We'll go to the most beautiful beaches and popular tourist hotspots to find money, jewelry, sunglasses, and other valuables that people have lost. Italy has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world with the clearest water that attracts millions of visitors each year. Using special scuba gear and waterproof metal detectors, we'll search underwater to see how much we can find. Today, we're going to one of Italy's most popular spots, Cinque Terre. In the past, these five small fishing villages were only accessible by boat, but these days, tourists come by the train load. It gets super busy and we're up early to beat the crowds, but with so many people jumping off the rocks here, this idyllic village has some hidden treasures that we're gonna find. So let's do this. This is the gear I'll be using this morning. This is my Nomad. He floats on the surface and pumps air so I can breathe underwater up to 10 meters for about an hour. Then I've got my spare air in case of emergency. And then I've got my little metal detector here. It's only a small area that we're searching today, so this one's gonna be good for that. This area is called Cinque Terre, which means five villages, and they get absolutely packed by tourists. They come here on trains, they come here on ferries, by car, like we are, and on foot. It's super popular. These villages were cut off for most of their time. There are only fishing villages and accessible by boat, but this one that we're going to today is stunning and it has this perfect little jump spot So we're gonna go under that and see how much treasure we can find. All right We've got to go all the way from here Winding down and there is the Fruta de Mare down there. That's where our treasure is <laughs> I think we made it Look how beautiful this spot is, and we've got it all to ourselves. That's where everyone jumps off the cliff. I did it yesterday, and down here the water's super clear, so I'm hoping that we can find some stuff. Oh my gosh, a lot of people snorkeling here, so it's going to be tough, but I reckon we're going to find something. We always do. Yeah, can't wait to get in. So this is my Nomad dive system. He's going to float on the surface, and this tube, which he's going to pump the air through, is 10 meters deep, so I can be down there 10 meters for up for about 45 minutes. It's super deep here, so I'm gonna need it. Okay, let's do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was awesome. Oh, so much fun. How good was that? So clear. Woo. Oh man, that was so much fun. It was so clear down there. I had the whole place to myself. So let's go back up to the van and we'll go through all the finds. Oh, I've got some treasure. <laughs> oh, oh man, it's pretty high up here. Look at that drop down. One, two, yeah! Look at that. There we go, loads of different stuff there. How's when I first jumped in, having a little look around, first thing I get is this, got little gold bracelet. That is so cool. And then I've got another one down here as well. This is a gold chain, Ooh. nice one. Sunglasses, I was thinking maybe we won't get some because it's so clear down there, but it was so deep. Um, so I got a pair, that was so cool. There you go, so they look in good condition as well. Good to go, no scratches on them. And I also got a pair of these reading glasses. Ugh, that would have sucked for someone who lost those, hey? Got this earring, he was sitting right on the surface, but he's just a fakey. GoPro down there, that's been down there a long time, but it's in pretty good condition. So what I'm gonna try and do is open this up, get the SIM card out, put some photos up, and see if we can track down the owner. You guys, make sure you leave a comment below if you know someone. Oh my gosh. All right. One, two. Got a fork as well. There you go. Yeah, and then I got this ring. This is super cool. I think it could be silver ring. It does have some tiny markings on it down here. I don't know if you guys can see that there, right along there, some tiny markings. So if anyone knows what ring this is, let me know. But my eyes aren't good enough to find out what that is. Not the first find of the day, but I was digging around and then I saw this there. How did someone lose that? Crazy, it was so obvious, but I think, there you go, it's still 825. Still working, that's cool. And look at this coin, five pesos from the Philippines. What is that doing there? Sitting right on the surface. And then I've got lots of these uh, trashy stuff, like I've got this bracelet, parts of goggles there, hair ties, and loads and loads of trash that we're gonna take out of the water. So that was a super cool adventure. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you soon for another treasure hunting adventure. In the meantime, I've got to walk back up a massive hill. Yeah.